What's up guys? Welcome to our 23rd video tutorial in CISO. <laughs> Yun po guys, uh, para akong tanga doon. So, uh, welcome po guys to our 23rd video tutorial in CISO. Pag-uusapan natin ay ang pointers. So, ano nga ba ang pointers? So, um, the word you set guys, um, pointers tagaturo. So, pero ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin yan sa C programming? So, yung um, simple illustration guys for example um, a pointer is like this for example like this for example we declared an integer x equal for example to 5 or 4 so in diba in programming diba meron tayong variable x na ang laman niya is 4 then we have another variable which is the pointer then parang tinuturo niya yung ganyan. So, ano mga ano, silbi niyan? So, saan eh? Ano, tagaturo lang naman. So, meron yun guys na gamit sa C. So, very useful yan at least na malaman nyo. So, kailangan nyo yan malaman guys. So, declare a pointer. Paano nga ba mag-declare ng pointer? Paano gumawa ng pointer na to? Paano natin, natin to gagawin? So, um, Parang nanonood kasi si tatay ng TV. Parang baka naririnig nyo yung TV. So, ahiyaan nyo na lang. So, ganito guys, pag-declare ng pointer. The variable, I mean the data type, then asterisk, is this asterisk or star? So, then the variable name of your pointer. Again, the variable name is always up to you. Then, always initialize it to null. Bakit nyo kailangan i-initialize sa null? Kasi it's a very good programming practice guys na ang pointer dapat equal to null para yun nga, it's a very good program practice lang talaga so, and one more thing itong asterisk na to pwede nyo yan, ilagay dyan kahit ganyan, basta in between siya sa data type nyo and the PTR and another thing is itong pointer na to is this is only for integer pointers so what I mean by that is hindi nyo siya pwede gamitin na maging pointer to a character or to a boolean or other data type. So, kung gusto nyo mag gumawa ng pointer to another data type, kung gusto nyo character na pointer, you have to make another and specify kung anong data type. So, ganyan guys. Pareho lang, pareho lang naman yan sa boolean float double. So, yun guys, for this tutorial, I'll make an example na sa integer. Pero you can experiment after the video na gumawa kayo ng pointer so, ano, character pointer, boolean character. Pareho lang naman guys, the syntax and the approach, the logic of pointers, pareho lang naman. Gagawin ko lang is to an integer example. So, yun. So, ayun, may pointer na tayong ito. Pangalan niya is PTR. The variable name is PTR. So, paano natin gagawin na ituro natin yan, dyan, sa variable x. So, paano nga ba ituro? Ituturo natin. So, we just put a statement like this. The variable name of your PTR, of your pointer, is equal to ampersand x semicolon. Semicolon. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin nito? Technically, you can think of parang tinuturo lang ng PTR yung x. You, pwede niyang isipin ng ganyan. Pero guys, deep inside, Ang ibig sabihin talaga nito is, kinig kayo mabuti, etong PTR natin, etong pointer natin, etong pointer natin, which is this, ang magiging value nyan, the value, tanda nyo guys, value ha, value, ang magiging value ng pointer is the address of x. Diba, I've said na, ang mga kada variable, meron yan na specific address guys. So, ang address na yan is, Parang mga 0, 0, 0, something yan. So, makikita nyo yan. If print natin man yan, mamaya. Ang point ko is, once na ginawa mo tong statement ato, you can take of it na parang tinuturo nga ng pointer yung x. Pero deep inside, ang value, ang nangyayari dito is, ang value ng pointer natin is yung address ng x. Which is ito. So, again, same approach and same application sa different data type. So, Ganun guys, ang value nito, nito is yung address nito, yun yung value nyan. So, yun, eto na, declare a pointer, how to point a pointer, always set to null, 
yun na pointer data types yun na nga type said uh, pareho lang approach to other data types let's print address of pointer just like I've said so before that i-print muna natin ang address ng x para makita nyo so the address of x is the format specifier if you want to print an address in C is percent %t. Gusto nyo mag-print. Then, the syntax is, di ba guys, pag value, ginalagay nyo lang is comma x, di ba? Value yan, value. Kung gusto nyo mag-print mag ng address ng isang variable or any pointer, pwede, pwede rin na may... Tandaan nyo guys, by the way, di ba to? Ang pointer po pala, meron siyang value ah, at the same time, meron siyang address. So, parang ganito lang na um, typical na data type, I mean na variable. So, meron din siyang address at value. And at the same time, ang pointer meron din siyang value at address. Yun nga lang, ang value ng pointer is yung address na tinuturo niya. So, again, go back. Kung gusto niyo mag-print ng address, di ba pag value ganito? Pag yan. Pag address, you have to put the ampersand lang. Then, of course, semicolon. So, pag print natin to guys, compile and run. So, makikita nyo, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, yun yung address, o, oh, ayan o, oh, parang 00, bla, 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 bla. Maintindihan nyo ba yan, guys? So, hindi nyo man ito kailangan i-memorize. Talaga nasa computer na yan. Mga something, something like that. Ganyan. So, yun. At least nakita nyo na na may address nga ang ano. So, print the, print the value of the pointer. So, gusto na, try na natin na i-print ang, ang address ng isang pointer para makita nyo na may address din siya. The address of, of our pointer is, again, again, as I've said, Sinabi ko ba kanina, as I've said na, if you want to print an address in the screen, percent P ang format specifier then The address of our pointer is, again, address. If you're dealing with the address, na, the, kailangan nyo ilagay dito sa so, comma is, yan. If you're dealing with address, says, so, ganyan. The address of... Oh my god, print. Ay, naku guys, I'm learning Python kasi. Nag-aaral nag kasi ako mag-Python kasi yun yung isa sa mga ano sa amin. Gusto ko lang matutunan ng Python kasi kailangan daw yan. Tsaka one of the most important programming languages in the world, the whole wild universe. So, kung makikita nyo, di ba? The address of our pointer, may sarili, sarili din siyang pointer. I mean, address. So, ayan. So, try natin guys, i-print ang value ng ating pointer. Di ba, I said earlier na uh, the value of our pointer is yung address ng x. So, try natin. I-print natin yung value ng pointer natin. Dapat, pareho siya dito sa address ng x. So, try natin. Ayaw nyo sa akin maniwala. Eto na, gagawin na natin. The value of our pointer. Point is, ano ang format specifier? It's percent %p because we are expecting an address. Then, set, ctr. Tataka kayo, bakit di ako maglalagay ng ganyan? Kasi, we are getting or printing the value of our of our pointer and o oh, tama kayo it is an address pero ang point dyan is we are trying to print the value guys value tandaan nyo value and address is different iba ang way na pag print eto sa part nito mag print tayo ng address of the pointer yung address nya gets ba ako guys yung address nya eto ipiprint natin is yung value so this is different eto you do this when you want to print the address of our pointer and the the, uh, the format specifier is p because it's an address eto we're trying to print the value of our pointer bakit um 
format specifier is P because we know that the value is an address coming from variable x. So, yun guys, ganun na naman. I know ma di mahirap, pero magigets nyo rin yan. Ako din noon, nahirapan din ako, pero caring, 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 bukla besh. Ay nako, bakit natin ng boxers in. Ay nako. Caring, caring, bukla besh. So, ayan, di ba? Oh, nakita nyo? Niniwala na kayo sa akin? Pareho siya? Di ba? O oh, di ba? The value of the pointer is the address of x. So, di ba? Di ka niniwa sa akin. Ayan, may prueba na ako. So, let's print address of the pointer. Let's print address of point. Bakit dalawa na yan? Uh, I mean, this guys of x lang naman. <laughs> Let's print address of x. Let's print address of pointer. Let's print value of pointer. Ayun na, nagawa natin. One last thing. Pinaka last. Paano kung gusto nyo, for example, di ba may pointer tayo? Ang value nito, isabihin natin yung address nito. Sabihin natin 0, 0, x, ganyan, 50, bla bla bla. So, paano kung gusto kong i-print yung value ng x gamit ang pointer na to? So, paano nga ba? Print f um, the value of x using our pointer is percent %i. Bakit percent %i? Kasi we are trying to print the value of x which is integer. So, yun. Ay, nako. Alam ko na, huli ka balbon. Huli ka balbon. So, you, you put like that in comma, then you type is ptr. So then you guys, we are trying to print here the value of x using our pointer. Kasi, di ba, tinuturo ng pointer natin yung variable x. So we are trying to print the value of x using our, <coughs> excuse me, using our pointer. So you just type the comma, then star or Asterisk, then your pointer, then semicolon. Diba? The value of x using our pointer is 4. So, yun guys. Try natin itong palitan ng, ng 6. The value of x is using our pointer is 6. So, yun guys. Um... Yun lang naman po guys. Congratulations. You learned basic things about pointers. Madali lang naman siya, di ba guys? Ang um, concept lang na, again, once na tinuro, kung tinuro niyang ganyan, ang magiging value ng pointer natin is, or kung anong pointer niya is, yung value ng x. I mean, no, mali. Not the value of x, the address of x. Yun yung magiging value na pointer nyo. The address of your, kung ano man yung tinuturo nyo doon. So, yun lang po guys. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, just for you know, um, rinirecord ko tong video na to dito sa kitchen namin. So, it's very awkward. para ako dito ng tanga. <laughs> Pero okay lang. So, yun guys. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. We're going to discuss more about pointers. Bye!